Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Physics with Oliver. Today we will discuss another problem from NEET 2022. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Let's start. At first read the problem. A square loop of sight 1 meter and resistance 1 ohm is placed in a magnetic field of 0.5 tesla. If the plane of the loop is perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field, the magnetic flask through the loop is. So, at first we have to write what quantities are given. The side of the loop is 1 meter. This is a square loop and the side of the loop is 1 meter. So, the area will be 1 meter square. The resistance of the loop is given 1 ohm. It is placed in a magnetic field which is equal to 0.5 tesla. The plane of the loop, the plane of the loop, this is the plane of the loop is perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field. The plane of the loop is perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field. Right, this is the plane of the loop and the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. We have to calculate the magnetic flask. Flask is equal to B dot A. A is the area vector and the formula is B A cos theta. Where theta is the angle between magnetic field and area vector. Okay. If a plane is given, then the area vector is always perpendicular to the surface of the plane. If this is a plane, then the area vector is always perpendicular to the plane. Okay. So, in this case, in our case, the area vector is, wait, in our case, the area vector is directed in this direction. So, we can write, uh, as we have said, the area vector is always perpendicular to the plane of the loop. So, here, the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field is 0 degree, right? Theta is equals to 0 degree here because the uh, magnetic field vector and area vector are perpendicular, are parallel to each other. Right? So, the angle between the magnetic field and the area vector is 0 degree. It is the key point of this problem. So, here the flask is equals to P A cos 0 degree. That means P A into 1. Cos 0 degree equals to 1. The value of the B is given 0 0.5 tesla and the area is given 1 meter square. So, 0 0.5 tesla into meter square that is equals to Weber. Right? So, the answer is option 3. I hope you can understand this. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, as I have said, the main key point of this problem is we have to calculate the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field properly to do the problem correctly. Okay. Uh, always remember that uh, the, uh, the area vector is always perpendicular to the plane. Okay. If you know that the area vector is always perpendicular to the plane, then you can easily evaluate the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field and then you can easily calculate the magnetic flask correctly. Thank you everyone. Keep watching.